Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the house. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Come on in, come on, come on in. We got to have a conversation on the channel. Yes, we got to have a conversation. And we don't, we don't want no family members coming here trying to argue with me. I don't want to hear it. Sit your ass down somewhere and just listen. And if you feel like you want to just get on my nerves, then just go on. And just leave the house and come back when you have a better attitude, when you want to talk about subject topic. Okay? But make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, okay? On this channel, if you haven't subscribed or if you found yourself unsubscribed and you didn't mean to do it, then, you know, resubscribe back. Tell people about the a house and tell them they come over here and shoot the fat, shoot the shit with us all day long. Well, maybe not all day long. <laughs> but as long as I'm on here talking and giving out subject topics to talk about, okay? And make sure you go on over there to my second channel and endorse your subscription over there as well. Subscribe, like, and share. Get me up to a thousand. I'm trying to get that channel monetized. But all that said, let's get into Sherry little ass, okay? Let's get on into her ass. Now, y'all know I was riding for Sherry because, you know, she had played some, I forgot what picture she played with Jamie Foxx. Was it on the Jamie Foxx show? And she was Fancy's friend. That's what I'm thinking. That's where my mind's taking me. But I'm not really sure. Don't count on me. Because <laughs> my memory says having those COVID first two shots. And having COVID and pneumonia at the same time. I ain't been right since, y'all. I ain't been right. I've been so forgetful. So I forget to write down stuff. And I forget to remind myself that I need to write down stuff. Man, that's some bullshit. But anyway, then we ain't talking about that. We talking about this woman right here. Do you know, she don't call herself X, Suzanne, you know, Suzanne the hype girl, a hype lady that was, you know, uh, bringing on the show for Wendy, introducing her and having the crowd just go go uh, crazy for um, Wendy when she came out on set. Well, honey, well, hell, I ain't been watching the Sherry Shepard show in a long time, but I didn't even know she had got rid of her. And I think, uh, what's his name? Damn, what is his name? Norman. I ain't seen how I tell uh, where he went. I guess when he said it was closed curtain for Wendy, he got the hell out of there, okay? And got himself another job, which really, Suzanne should have did the same thing. Because the writing was on the wall. I didn't think she would get rid of her this year. <laughs> Since she was already there, you know. But I'm like, okay, okay. I bet you had to ask her, honey. Well, Sherry, did you get a lady servant's pay? Did you give the lady some servant's pay? Did you give the lady an idea that you were going to let her go, Sherry? Did you give her an idea? Because you were riding high for when you had took over uh, Wendy's show uh, to basically, you know, because we know Wendy wasn't coming back. She wasn't coming back. Everybody should have known she wasn't coming back. And she still don't need to come back. She don't need to be doing no po podcast on that. She need to be, if people really believe she's still alive. And, you know, y'all know how I feel about that. Ain't no sense of me giving y'all my one, two, three step of uh, what I feel, okay? But, uh, <sighs> that's a sad, sad. I, I just hope you gave her some service pay. Because I like this, Suzanne. I did. I sure did. Mm-hmm. And she probably held a lot of your secrets. Well, Wendy's secrets, rather. She probably had a few of yours, too. But why you had to fire her, girl? You couldn't wait it till after Christmas? You couldn't give her another full year? Sherry, I'm surprised at you. Sherry, I'm surprised at you. And I got to come back and talk about Candy and these little... Uh, it, what, 
Emmy Award she get, and I'm hearing that it ain't the true Emmy. It's like on a local level, state level Emmy. I'm like, wait a minute, when they, they, when they make up those? I thought an Emmy was an Emmy, a Tony was a Tony, an Oscar was an Oscar, and a Grammy was a Grammy. You talking about they got levels now to receiving the Emmy and the Tony and the Oscar and the Grammy? They got levels? Shit. I tell you, when minorities try to get up in there and win them big Oscars and Grammys and uh, Emmys and Tonys, they try to make steps to it. You know what I'm saying? Child, when it was a white hole thing, everything was just, you know, kosher. You get it. Yeah, give them that. Give them another one. You know what I'm saying? Now, minorities up there trying to get into the, the swing of producing in the back and wanting accolades. It's something else. It's something different. But yeah, that's a video I'm going to have to do. It might be short, but I got to talk about it because it's been on my mind. I ain't been liking what I've been hearing. I'm like, candy girl. But since she came, she was the first person on your show I thought I would mention it. But Cher, you know you ain't shit, girl. You know you ain't shit. I'm like, you just took the woman, job And just, uh, well, you know, hey, like I said, when people come in, they do a clean of a house first. Then they got some more people they need to get rid of, but they gonna let them get a little you know, more of their check and stuff. Cause I, I knew it. I knew Sherry was gonna clean your house. She didn't want nobody from when the show. Not really. Because they would still be saying, well, you know Wendy. You know, trying to make her second guess herself uh, on certain things. And I understand. I understand. You need a fresh start. You need fresh people. But I'm like, damn, my marker is still the same. <laughs> they still own you. Meaning, do you own Sherry? Sherry, do you own your name? Because Wendy made a mistake and didn't tra uh, trademark her name. Sherry, did you trademark Sherry Shepherd show? A Sherry Shepherd, something to that effect, so you can get some money every time the show is showing. But well, you probably did. You probably did. You probably did. You were just happy to see an opportunity to have your own talk show. You just completely forgot about that. Uh, I, okay. I understand. Got it good. But well, let's get on into what, um, who was this? Page six had brought out for us for the viewing pleasure. And Carlos Greer and Ian Moore wrote it up for us. They titled it Sherry Shaxis. Wendy Williams Producers wants fresh energy. All right. Fresh energy around you. Okay. All right. But you still got the same company that issues out the big checks. Because uh, you're just a token, Sherry. You're just a, a, a talk spokesperson. You ain't do uh, be all, it all. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you got your name outside of a door that a lot of people walk through and walk out of, you doing some shit. But, you know, you're doing some shit, too, because, you know, you never had your own talk show. And I, that's a stepping stone. Uh, I'm not really sure. Do you, I think you got an image, don't you, Sherry? Because you was on The View. And they gave y'all as, you know, a hosting show. So, girl, all right, honey. I hear you. I see you. I hear you. And I see you. But let's get into this article. Uh, it says, Sherry Shepard is washing her hands of Wendy Williams' top producers for season two of her daytime talk show. Okay, Sherry Shepard inherited the Wendy longtime executive producers, David uh, Perler and Susan Bass, who also appeared with Williams on camera daily as executive producers for her show when it premiered last fall. Okay. So this is told page six. They got the axe this week as season one of Sherry comes to a close at the end of this month. We're told Sherry naturally wanted fresh energy for her new show. So you mean when you were eating up Suzanne's ass, when you were coming guest starring and all of this, you were just pulling her strings, letting her have false hope. That she would be with you for the long haul. Did you do that? Because I know you was up on uh, Norman like it wasn't nobody's business. Now, you like the Norman. But, you know, like I said, she probably didn't like Norman either. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know how you think new people are going to be more rallying around you. Because they might not like you either, Sherry. They might not like you either. So, I don't know. Maybe you should have kept 
Because at least Suzanne can keep a secret. She didn't tell all witness. I mean, witness. She didn't tell all Wendy secrets. At least I don't think so. I'm not really sure now. She probably could have. Who knows? But I like Sherry no damn good. Not that damn Sherry. So let them get a paycheck for the rest of the year. And then, you know, you could have gave her two seasons. And then you know, she probably took her out to lunch or whatnot. And so, you know what? Uh -huh. Y'all been with me. And I appreciate y'all. I gave y'all two good years. Or two good seasons. But I really want to basically revamp the show. I'm going in a totally different direction. I'm going to meet with, you know, the show, the show's heads and see what they feel about it. But I, I don't want to take you into that season three. You know, she, she could have did some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But damn, Sherry Ann's probably came in one morning and told them after she had a coffee or whatever she was getting together and said, yeah, I'm not going to need y'all no more. Your services are no longer needed after this month is over. And she probably walked out. I'm like, damn, Sherry. I don't know, Sherry. You looking kind of foul, girl. You looking kind of foul now. Don't be changing things too fast because you might be sending your own self out the door. Okay? Because it's really like the whole thing with you and your background it seemed like it's still the Wendy Williams show. You even got the big titties and the small frame and all. I'm like, girl, give us something different. Because now, and I hated to say it. I hated to say it because I thought she was going to come with something else. Cause you're a comedian. You know how to get the crowd to laugh or whatnot. Um, but mm -mm, the show is still looking like the Wendy Williams show. You looking like. Wendy Williams, a shorter version. But anyway, we're not gonna really go. We ain't gonna like. We ain't gonna talk about that too much, okay? Oh, but anyway, go back and we said, um, uh, let's see, where were we? Come on, computer. Okay, the decision doesn't come as a surprise for Perla. We hear since he stayed on to help get them through the hump of launching a new show, according to one source. Bass was more of a start kick and buffer to Williams' former hot topics at, which isn't as useful for Sharon, who is also a comedian and actress, we're told. Well, yeah, that shit ain't we told. Did you not see her portfolio? Did you not see her acting ability? Yes, it was on a sitcom show. But hell, she was still acting. Then she did commentary on the view. Don't be trying to shortchange even though I'm mad at Sherry, but I don't want nobody else to be mad at Sherry. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all know what I'm saying. But anyway, that Susan was on camera for a decade with Wendy. Another source said, but Shepard's producer, Bestie, uh, Han Murray, a TV commentator who is new to executive producing, partially took on that role when Sherry brought him in. Okay. Uh, Sherry hired Paul Han Murray as her executive producer to launch the show. A spokesperson for Dale My Mercury, the production company behind both the Williams and Shepard shows, told us we will announce a new executive producer for the second season to serve alongside Murray. Now you see how they did Sherry. They're like, no, nah, baby, we ain't gonna just bring in your 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 stuff. We're gonna have a little tricks and trades of our own. So I'm like, you're going to have two executive producers, one for Sherry and one for Daryl Mount Mercury. See, Sherry, I'm smelling, I'm smelling something. And it ain't worth a shit. I'm telling you, girl, you better save your money. Save your money and just have this, whatever it is that you got as a talk show, as a stepping stone to something else. Because, girl, they either don't trust you or you doing too much behind the scenes that we're not privy of. I'm just saying. Because they should have just went on and let you have your producer and, and, and let it go. That's it. Nah, they said they're going to bring in their own, too. They want an unbiased type of cast or, you know, employees. But anyway, that was just my, my spill on it. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's see here. Okay, the statement further says that Peter and Baz have been integral women. Integral, they have been integral to Delmar Mercury's success. 
in daytime syndication for many years and have helped launch Sherry. Get my Merkel wishes them all the best on future endeavors and hopes to work with them in the future. Okay, because yes, Suzanne and, and her husband, Perla. Not really sure.